Right, so we've got a spur of the moment video coming up here. Um, getting notifications going off on my phone because it's saying that we're going to get some rain. Um, so I'm going to quickly head out. I'd plan to do a bit of a soil test um, before I look at putting any products out on the lawn. Um, so I'm going to get soil test kit out. I'm going to get some fertilizer out to choose from. I don't know what's in the shed and we'll get started. So today's episode is going to be all about soil testing. Um, so when you first start getting into lawn care or even if you're into it now and you're buying products and things like that and you're finding that maybe no matter what you sort of put out, you don't really get great results out of it. Or maybe you're looking at products that are very, very popular and you're thinking, why all the fuss, this does nothing for my lawn. Unless you do a soil test, you might just be throwing good money after bad. So I strongly, strongly recommend doing a good soil test um, before you start spending your money basically and throwing it down the drain. So usually when you take um, a soil test, if you're gonna do a DIY soil test or even if you're gonna send it away to a lab, you usually have to take a couple of samples from the one area. So I've taken three samples all down at the same depth um, of that front verge lawn just to see what I'm working with. The main thing I want to test for today is soil pH. Um, so the pH scale basically goes from acidic to neutral to basic or alkaline. Um, and the nutrients that the plant or the turf needs to take up to grow and to be healthy, they usually get that from the soil. Um, if your soil is too acidic or too alkaline, your plant actually won't be able to take up the nutrients even if they might be there. You know, there's some products out there, there's some fertilizers, granular fertilizers out there that are upwards of $100. And they might be the best fertilizers on the market. They might have trace element package, they might have everything in it, all the good stuff. But if you're throwing it on soil that's already really acidic or alkaline, it's sort of being wasted because those nutrients are actually being locked up in the soil and your turf is not actually able to access, access those nutrients. Um, so a good thing to do would be first and foremost to do a pH test. Um, now I bought this guy, this fancy looking soil probe, soil survey instrument. Um, I think it does, it does soil temperature, um, soil moisture, pH and I don't actually know what else. To be honest, I use it to test pH. Um, these are like, I think I paid about $20 for it um, on eBay. I'll, I'll double check and I'll put a link up to it or something like that. But um, they sort of just look like this. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully that shows up on camera. Um, you put it down to a certain depth and it'll give you a reading. Um, these get dragged on some of the online platforms. I'm not really sure why. Um, obviously really good pH probes and stuff are gonna be worth hundreds or thousands of dollars. Um, but for 20 bucks, it gives you an indication of whether or not your soil is acidic or alkaline or neutral. So to me, it's 20 bucks well spent because you get to keep testing it. The other good thing about them 
um, is you can sort of calibrate them. You know if they're still working or not. So you can put them in water and check that the pH is seven. You can put them in things like milk, orange juice, stuff like that. So where there's a known pH and you can calibrate against it to make sure it's reading correctly. There's the Manutech kits that you can get down at Bunnings. Um, that's actually taking the soil and sort of mixing it with reagents and things like that. They're, I think, about $30. Um, so that's a next step up. And this is the one I'm gonna use today. This is one, full disclosure, I do sell this um, through my business, but I chose to sell it for a reason. Um, this doesn't just tell you the pH of your soil, but it also tells you the NPK of your soil. So how much nitrogen's in it, phosphorus and potassium. Um, which just so happens to be the macronutrients that are also in your granular fertilizers. Okay, so the test kit, so these are the reagents it comes with, they're labeled. Um, so I'm going to start off testing the pH. They give you this color card. Um, so obviously when, once you mix the soil um, with a little bit of water and the reagent, It'll give you a color and then you gotta hold it against this card to check what your pH is closest to. Okay, so I'm back to show you now. We've done the pH test. It came back as five. So just a reminder that um, ideal pH for lawns is usually between six and seven. So um, not alkaline at all. You want it to be very, very slightly acidic um, to neutral. So these are the these are the cards that come with the test. Um, so they're very, very, very simple, um, which is good because I'm a fairly simple person. Um, but they're, they're very easy to sort of read and you go, and it's, you know, low, medium or high. Okay, there's also, sorry, wow, I'm that simple, I can't read. Trace, low, medium or high. Um, so you're gonna get a really clear idea of what your lawn actually needs. Just to explain the, this goop, um, that is one and a half cups of the soil and eight cups of water. So I had to stir it about, I don't, I don't think I got any footage of it, which is probably a bit silly, but I stirred it and then you let it sit for at least half an hour, but you can let it sit for 24 hours. And basically what you want is you want to get the water that's sort of separated from the soil. It should be pretty clear. Mine's actually fairly murky and it sat there for like 12 hours. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead. You can hardly see any pink. Like it is, there is a slight pink tinge to it. But if you're reading off this card, It's obviously not high. It's either trace or low. I'd probably go with trace. I might even let it sit a little bit longer um, and have a look, but as expected, there's no real nitrogen in the soil and obviously nitrogen is used to grow. It is winter, but we're in Queensland, so winter in Queensland is not really winter. Um, so that's why maybe the lawn hasn't grown that much. Same thing with the phosphorus. You use a different clean test tube, obviously, and you can wash these test tubes out because um, the whole kit lets you do 10 tests. I'm assuming everything's gonna probably be about trace or low. Um, I, have, I have actually spoken to the last owner and they haven't fertilized the lawn, so that would make sense. So again, there's a slight blue tinge to it, but the water's so murky that you can hardly tell, but I'd say that's trace or low. So now we're gonna do the turbidity test. So um, turbidity is just basically how translucent or how opaque something is. So can you see through it? If you can see right through it, um, then you're looking at really trace levels of potassium. If it's a really um, deep dark color or you can't see through it at all, then you're looking at high levels of potassium. Um, so you hold this up basically and can you read the card behind it? So I don't know if it shows up on camera, but there's 
really tiny dots up there for trace and then there's high there. So you want to read the card and if you can see through it and you can see the dots, then that's the level that you're at. So obviously if I put it like this, I don't know, hopefully it shows up on camera, but you can see through to see the high reading, put it up a bit more. So we're at medium now. Yep, you can see through that. So then we go to low, you can see that and trace, you can see that. So because you can still see those trace dots through this solution, that means that um, your potassium levels are at a trace level. So I guess from here, what this means for me is because I've got acidic soil, so just a reminder, my pH was five, because I've got acidic soil, I'm gonna have to obviously do something about that to try and bring it up between the normal limits of six and seven. I am not going to use granular products, I'm going to use liquid products. Um, I, might actually, I might actually show you, I'll have to unpack a couple of boxes and double check, but I plan on using liquid lime, liquid dolomite, and I sort of use those together. That will raise the pH. Um, when you are trying to alter the pH of your soil, don't expect one application to do it. Don't expect it to happen overnight. It's a quite a slow process and you might have to continue retesting until you're at those limits. Um, in that case, I don't use this soil test again. So I use this um, sort of like at the start of the season. So end of winter, um, I use it before my renos. So I know exactly what to put in there. Um, and what products sort of to use. I then turn to this guy to then check on my lime application. So I then check, is my pH actually increasing as I want it to, and sort of when to stop doing that. I've only ever sort of dealt with acidic soils, which is probably a good thing because um, if your soil is more alkaline, then it's actually a bit harder to get back down towards neutral. If you do this soil test, um, and your soil comes back as being alkali, then you need sulfur or a sulfate product. Um, these are readily available. Um, I mean, you can go down to Bunnings and get this sort of stuff. Um, as I said, I'd prefer to use liquids. Um, they usually get a quicker response. My preference is I use the Nutritech products. So they're um, like micronized liquid lime, micronized liquid dolomite. They're the products that I use. I believe the Plant Doctor um, liquids are also the same. So those are probably my two suppliers that I would look into. I'll put some links um, in the description so that if you do happen to do a soil test and you can do it however you want to do it, but if you do happen to do that, um, I'll just give you some links as to where you might be able to buy those products that can help. Now remember they're sort of soil conditioners, so you need to water them, you need to get them down to the soil. So in that case, I would um, add in a good penetrant wetter, something like Nature Soil Wetter from Plant Doctor or like Pervade um, that I showed you in last week's episode. So those are the products that I would use just to make sure it actually gets through to the soil and through to the soil profile um, and get the most out of your products, basically. My plan moving forward um, for my lawn is to obviously apply those soil amendments to try and get the pH up. But also now that I know that it is acidic, I know now that a granular program, yeah, I'm gonna still stick to a granular program, but now I know that I'm better off applying liquids. So I have trace levels of phosphorus and potassium, so I'm gonna get a liquid product to bring those two up. Um, I'll show you that shortly. And I dare say, if that's the case, my trace element package would be um, they're pretty low as well. So I'll be looking to incorporate that into my lawn care program as well. In terms of getting nitrogen into it, um, I'm, I'm sort of going to alter between something like um, Triple Ten by Nutritech. Similar version of that would be Triple Boost by Plan of Health. Um, so for a bit of organics in there. And then I also like to use a stabilized nitrogen with iron fertilizer. Um, but I'll speak more about the liquid program in the coming episodes because obviously it's going to be something that I'm going to have to use um, and it's going to be ongoing. Um, thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate 
Um, all the support I'm getting, I genuinely do appreciate it. I just wanted to let you know also I've started a Facebook group called Lawn Care Australia, funnily enough. Um, I just want it to be a nice positive place for us to talk lawns, um, share photos and things like that. So if you'd like your lawn featured in an upcoming video, feel free to jump on there, post your pictures up, let me know what you're doing on your lawn. Um, I sort of want to create a nice little community there. Um, so please, if you got something out of today's episode and you learned a little bit about soil testing or maybe found out what you can go get um, for about 20 bucks, 20 to 50 bucks, um, then please subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. See you next week on Lawn Care Australia.